Hi everyone, welcome to Math Quick. In this video, we're going to be talking about sets. Ano nga ba ang set? A set is a collection or group of objects. And the objects in a set are related to each other in some way, meaning they have common characteristics. Example, using these objects, we can form different sets, like the set of fruits. So we have apple, bananas, and grapes. The set of toys, we have the toy truck and the ball. How about the set of red objects? We have apple, ball, and cat. How about the objects that are purple? We only have one, and that's grapes. Aside from having common characteristics, a set must also be well-defined. When we say well-defined, it means that the characteristics should be clear and unique, not ambiguous, meaning the objects or members of a set are identified based on a clearly defined characteristics and not based on someone's opinion. Example, the set of cute objects. This set is not well-defined because what is cute to me might not be cute to other people. The set of delicious fruits is not well-defined because of the word delicious. This word is based on opinion. So, maaring sa akin, delicious na ang apple, maaring sa iba hindi. So, that is why, mag -iba, iba ang sagot. Depende sa opinion ng isang tao. So, this set, the set of delicious fruits, is not well-defined. Other examples of not well-defined are the set of attractive things, beautiful students, good teachers, and favorite numbers. So, these are not well-defined. So, ano nga ba ang well-defined? So, let's have an example. The set of female students. Now, this set, yung word na female students, this is a well-defined set. Bakit? Kasi kahit sino pa ang tatanungin mo, the same pa rin ang magiging members ng set. The same pa rin ang magiging sagot. However, if you say the set of beautiful students, because of the word beautiful, this is based on opinion. So, mag-iiba-iba ang sagot depende sa opinion ng tatanungin mo. So, this is not well-defined. 